Hey, uh, wanted to go ahead and uh, do something a little bit different, uh, other than bass covers and, and, and uh, recording RC flights. Uh, talk about my sunglasses here. Um, I do get comments in my videos that request uh, information on the sunglasses that I wear and uh, you know who the manufacturers are, who they're produced by. Uh, what brand, what name, what model, things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and accommodate that. So uh, I'm going to start off with my favorite pair. Uh, these are my Persols. Uh, these are the P03048S model in the 55 millimeter lens, photochromatic lens, polarized, uh, with an 18 millimeter bridge and a 145 millimeter temple. These are a high quality uh, acetate framed sunglass with uh, mineral glass lens. Um, I love these glasses here. These are my pride and joys. Uh, I don't wear these in a lot of my videos um, simply for the fact that I, I, I just keep them in their uh, sunglass case protected and I normally just typically wear these for special occasions here. So, um, so once again, Persol P03048 S in the 55 millimeter lens with the photochromatic lenses as well as being polarized. Um, these are unique because of all my sunglasses, of the Varnays, my Oakleys, uh, my Ray-Bans, these have the most quality feel to them. I mean, they are absolutely solid. Um, they feel bulletproof. Uh, they've got this special flex system here. Monflecto, I believe, is what it's referred to as where it allows it to flex according to head shape and where they sit, where the uh, bridge sits on the nose, it's uh, it's comfortable. I mean, the nose rests are not, you know, they don't extend that far, but they sit comfortably on my face. I've, I've heard other reviews where people complain that they're just not big enough. Um, they don't make an Asian fit where they're actually extended and uh, and that's okay. Um, they're not for everybody. These, the styling is a little bit vintage, and uh, you know they look a little dated, but at the same time they look pretty elegant. Uh, the uh, aero system or the uh, aero uh, metal accents look pretty good, um, so it helps to somewhat modernize it. But at the same time, the shape is is pretty vintage looking. So not for everybody. Um, other than that. One of the most common ones that I wear are my uh, Ray-Ban RB4115 wraparounds. They're pretty small, but uh, and I've replaced the lens with some fuse lenses here. Um, but originally, this pair with the uh, tortoise uh, color theme came with the uh, brownish green lenses that Ray-Ban are commonly purchased with or offered. But uh, these are also pretty nice. They're decent, they're comfortable, and they're extremely lightweight. However, the acetate uh, doesn't feel quite as quality as my Persols, or any of my Persols. I've got three Persol sunglasses, but this, these are my pride and joy here. Uh, I also have a pair of 3025S, I believe, is the model. They're a little bit smaller in uh, lens height. But the lens width, I believe, is 57 millimeter, and they are in the uh, Havana color theme. So these here are also my other pride choice. But however, my Varnays, highly underrated sunglasses. Uh, they've been around for quite a while. <sighs> One model in particular that particular <laughs> that I enjoy wearing in my videos because of the comfort and wrap around and uh, and how well they just stay on my face if I just get a little animated when I'm playing my bass. Um, my uh, VL0113 Skylynx lens, double gradient silver tinted lens, uh, Barnays are, uh, are my go-to glasses for fast metal, heavy metal. Um, these sunglasses are made of nylon, not acetate. But they are extremely durable. They feel just as solid as my Persols do. Um, the lenses are great. 
when when it comes to lens quality on these mineral lens, I think these have a higher grade of optical clarity than the Persols or even my Oliver Peoples that I also have a pair of, which also feature uh, mineral lens. But these lenses here, the coloring, the Skylinks actually provides like an amber yellowish lens. And, and like I said, they've been around since the 80s. They've been really popular with a lot of fans of Barney sunglasses that remember them. But uh, when you put them on and you are outside, even though they're not polarized or photochromatic, uh, the double gradient silver tint actually provides glare protection from above as well as down below uh, for like snow sports, water sports, things of that nature. But as far as contrasting the world outside of these lens or through the lens, they can't be beat. Uh, these are phenomenal. I love Skylinx lenses. Um, absolutely my favorite lenses. Uh, another throwback, what led me to Varnay were the most popular back in the 80s. These are the Varnay 002 uh, cat eyes, also featuring the Skylinx lenses. Um, I remember back when I, you know, back in the 80s in high school, I was big time into like BMX, motorsport, and uh, you know, skateboarding, things of that nature. And these were my go-to glasses. They were hard to acquire because, for one, uh, there weren't a lot of the shops that actually wanted to carry these. These are imported from France. Uh, and secondly, they were really expensive back then. I want to say I bought these, and these are mine from, I, I hold on to things. Uh, I'm not a pack rat, but or a hoarder, but there are certain things that I, I just never let go of, and these are one of them. I've, I've worn these uh, since 1986 is when I purchased these in Sacramento, California. I paid about $80 for them, and right now, Varnay is making a, 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 a strong comeback to the States, and uh, they offer a more modern version of this where it loses the PX on a ski on the temple arms, uh, so you only get Varnay uh, embossed on the temples. Let me get that into focus here. Yeah. Uh, on both left and right temples, but they're exactly the same. They offer, you know, they offer more lens diversity options, but uh, the Skylinks are, are still available. And uh, like I said, they are my absolute favorite. I love these sunglasses. You know, I love these sunglasses to death. Barnets are underrated, in my opinion, in uh, today's time and age. So, um, excellent glasses. I want to compare them to a set of Oakley Sliver uh, violet iridium polarized um, sunglasses. As far as the feel and comfort and what their purpose is, I believe these are a lifestyle sunglass. Um, but, you know, the Barnet 002s, in my opinion, are a dated version of these sunglasses. They're both built for sport, uh, long term use. Um, you want to wear them all day long. These are comfortable, and these are comfortable. They weigh about the same, in my opinion. They feel just about the same. Uh, the styling is a little bit uh, identical, in my opinion. You know, the uh, lens dimensions are pretty much the same. However, the clarity of these violet iridium polarizing lenses, in my opinion, still do not compare to my uh, Varnay 002s made in France. These are made in the U.S., um, I believe they're outsourcing to China now, which is uh, is a shame. The quality is going to go down, in my opinion. But if, you know, if I'm wrong, you let me know in the comments. But uh, like I said, these slivers I've had for about roughly about two years now. Uh, no problems other than one, one issue. The temple arms get a little bit loose and worn because they're just snap-ins. Um, they will get a little bit loose, but they still have that, that springing effect. Uh, that the uh, the Oakleys are known for with the plastic hinges. If they're not featured with barrel hinges like the Persols have, um, they do get a little bit worn and dated. So uh, I wear, I've worn these in a couple of videos. Not very much. I, these are more of my work glasses here. Um, this is something that I'd actually wear uh, for outdoor activities or when I'm on the job. Um, but as far as playing, you know, they're okay. Um, they stay on the face very well. 
So if I'm playing something that's a little fast and, and heavy, um, these are also my go-to uh, glasses, like my Varney VL0013 wraparounds. So, but, you know, hopefully that will answer some questions. I can't feature, I mean, I have over 20 different pairs of sunglasses. Uh, most of them are from designer houses like Varney, uh, Persol, Ray-Ban. I've got a couple of pairs of Ray-Bans, including original wafers, uh, which I don't really care for because they just don't feel good on my face. They dig into my cheeks because of their extreme angles towards the cheeks. Um, and also, they just don't look good on my face for some reason, not like these other sunglasses. So each pair of sunglasses that I, that, that I actually present and own, um, you know, I had to make a decision, hey, do they look good on my face? Do they feel good? Can I wear them all day long? Can they uh, withstand uh, vigorous movement, things of that nature? So um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you like this video, I know it's not my typical video, but if you like seeing things like this, just let me know down below in the comments and, uh, you know, I'll just present even more sunglasses and diversify my channel. I'm not trying to make this a, a career uh, channel. It's just something that I document so I don't, I don't forget how to play certain songs. And if there are folks out there that are just trying to figure out how a song is played, I play them as accurately as I possibly can, but if I know I'm not playing accurately, uh, I will let you know. I will leave it down in the, in the uh, uh, description that hey, this is not 100%, but I am working on all the nuances for certain notes that are, or even riffs or even uh, you know, I leave out certain octaves uh, because I'm still trying to figure out how to actually you know mend them into the song as the original basis will play them. But I do my best. You know, at least I'm providing some backbone to learning a song. But mostly it's for 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 myself. It helps me remember how to play. So I, I just have so many songs and covers uh, that I know how to play that. A lot of times I, I try to go back to a song and I will forget how to play it. So I just reference my videos. So, But if you like this video, just leave, leave a like, leave a comment. If you don't, you know, go ahead and leave a comment. Keep it clean. Um, I am doing my best here. So y'all take care.